we have our three judges here. Tom Naylor Leyland from the Molten Food Lovers Festival, director of the festival is here. Uh, David McDonald, general manager of the Tolbert, and Julie is going to give her score as well. They're each going to give 10 points for a possible total score of 30. The winner will be the one with the highest score. First up is David Green. David, please come forward and present your dishes to the judges. Okay, off you go, judges. Right. Okay, I think David. It's very tasty, then. Um, and the chicken breast, which so often can be, you know, very dry, is not dry. It's it's quite nice. It's um, my only criticism would be that the um, sauce is, a, it's t for me, a tiny bit salty. And um, the asparagus is wonderfully cooked, nice, nice, very crispy, but uh, yeah, ab absolutely lovely. So as Tom said, the chicken's very well cooked. Okay, it is time for scores on the doors. What mark is David going to get for his two dishes? Uh, Tom, out of ten? For both together? Yes. Um, I would give a... a seven. Seven. David? Um, yeah, I think for, from a, from a flavour combination, uh, it's fantastic, but presentation does let it down a, a little bit there, so I think I'm going to have to... Um, I'd probably have to go, go with a six, I think. And Jilly? I'm going to go with a seven. Seven, so it's seven, six, seven for David Green, a score of 20. I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. So next to face the judges, it is the Lomas. Lomas, bring your dishes this way. Okay, Rebecca, tell us, what have we got for our judges? Um, we've got a risotto for the main with asparagus, obviously, on top. Um, again, I did try and use all the ingredients, so there is a little mismatch of things in there. <laughs> um, and then for the pudding, it's raspberry and white chocolate cakes. Okay, guys, tuck in, enjoy. Initial reaction to that, Tom? I think it's delicious. Oh, that's nice. Um, <laughs> Need to go to the I enjoy those uh, peppers and the courgettes. Sorry. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> David's just having to leave the table. <laughs> okay, Tom, continue. What, what, so <laughs> so you, you liked it, though? I think it's very good. I think, you know, <laughs> taste is, is fantastic. Um, asparagus is, is, actually I quite like it, it's quite sort of crunchy and, and, and fresh. Okay, David, you have to spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the asparagus bottoms have not been trimmed enough. Okay, yeah, sorry, so it's, it's, it's too woody. <laughs> Can't be swallowed. Well, it's time for scores on the doors though. What are you going for? I would say again a seven. Seven, all right. David, bearing in mind you have to <laughs> run off. <laughs> well. I, I did, but I think, you know, if I'd have gone from the top end of the asparagus, then I wouldn't have had ah. to. So I, I think a seven this time, actually. Really? All right, I'm staggered. Jilly? I'm going to go eight. Eight? Oh. oh, my goodness. A score of 22 for Rebecca Lomas. Well done, Lomas. Well, definitely the best looking dishes, but will they taste the best? Simon is next. Simon, what are you presenting to our judges? It's a chicken with a chorizo sausage, a rustic Sardinian ragout. Um, we're just, just plain vegetables, really. And then for the second, for my pudding, it's a Yorkshire pudding. Oh, nice. Um, made from scratch. Um, and what I've done is I've used a little bit of cream there, whipped cream with lemon in it. <laughs> uh, tucking, guys, have a little bit of that and see what you think. Uh, it looks fabulous. Mm. Okay, Tom, I'll come to you first. Your thoughts on Simon's main and dessert? Fantastic. For me, it was an eight. Eight, wow. Okay, David. That is perfect, so um, I'm going to go with an eight. Okay, Jilly, it's down to you. He's got 16 so far. What is your score for Simon? Uh, I'm going to go with an 8. 8, 24 for Simon. He's the man to beat. <laughs> well, the tension is unbearable. It's time for our final contestant. We've called him Black Beauty. He is the dark horse. It is Paul Spence. Come and meet the judges. Oh, my goodness. He needs help because he's got three dishes. Uh, judges tuck in. Uh, we've got a starter, a main and a dessert. Would you like to talk us through the dishes? Yeah, well for the main it's sort of a Mediterranean chicken. We've got some garlic, some uh, spicy. I'm hoping you like spicy stuff because it may be a little <laughs> bit extra on the chilli. And then for the dessert we've just got um, a nice sponge, um, some buttercream icing, uh, just some raspberries, orange and a vanilla uh, cream. Okay, judges tuck in. Thank you. <clears throat> It is time for the all-important scores. Tom, what do you think? For me, it was a seven. Seven. Okay, David, what are your thoughts? Um, I think um, overall in comparison, um, I think I'd, I'd probably have to go with a seven on this as well. Seven. Okay, he scored 14. Guys, if you can come round, if we can get Simon, Rebecca and David, because right now the situation we're in <laughs> is that thanks to Tom and David... 
Paul has scored 14. If he gets a 10 from Gilly, it's a draw. If not, Simon Hudson is Minster Chef 2016 champion. Is Paul getting a 10? Simon's the champion! <laughs> Simon, congratulations!